Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome, first of all. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all the love and support that you've given me. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button and bell. That way you are notified whenever I upload a video. And the reason why I say that is I have been MIA for the past couple of Saturdays and I have not been filming my Saturday setup. So guys, just make sure you have your bell on and you are subscribed so you don't miss these videos. So let's get into my little budget binder. If you are new to my channel, I keep record of everything that I spend within a week in this little binder that I was gifted. And um, I only put like um, the things I purchased. This isn't like uh, a binder that I keep track of um, daily tasks or anything like that. This is just where I write down what I spent. And if you guys don't have anything like that, you might want to consider it because it's very eye-opening. Whenever you um, look back at what you spend a week, you kind of can gauge where you are bleeding money and where you can cut back or, you know, what you may have to add to. So it does help. Now, I have missed a lot of August in September. But um, I'm going to go ahead and proceed with September since that is the month that we're in. So this is my setup for September. Now, um, Wednesday, September 1st, I spent $38.14, and that was um, home care or home maintenance. I have a family of wasps that think that they should live with me rent-free, so I've been trying to vacate them off the premises. So I spent a good bit on um, bug repellent. It's not a killer, but it's a repellent off of Amazon. And then on Thursday the 2nd, I spent $68.72 at Walmart. I got gas at Murphy's for $24.74. Um, I do need to, in writing this out, I can see that I'm still spending way too much at Walmart. So um, that way I know I need to cut that back. And literally half of that is just processed foods. And it's really making my stomach hurt so bad so I really need to stop spending that much and it will help me on my budget as well now Friday I went to belts I spent 241.68 now that is a gift for mama cat's birthday so I don't mind spending that and I will probably give um save some more money back to be able to compensate for that gift for her for her birthday now her birthday is until November but um, I said before, guys, I think it's going to be a rough year again as far as buying gifts. So if you have birthdays or Christmas or whatever holidays you celebrate for, make sure you go ahead and get your gifts early. Um, and I ate out at 10.58 on Friday. I normally eat out every Friday. That's just my gift to myself for a long week of work. Unless I am grocery shopping or I have doctor's appointments or anything like that, I normally just eat out once a week. So down here on Monday, I spent $75.70 at Amazon. I got a couple things for myself. Um, I might share with you in the later video what I spent, for, but for right now, I'm just going over the basis with you guys. Here on Wednesday the 8th, I had a dentist appointment, and sadly, I got... Um, the bill before the dentist told me what potentially might be wrong. I guess he had to examine the x-ray. So they sent me a residual bill of $10.78. So I went ahead and paid that. Because I really don't like owing anybody. So as soon as I get a bill, I normally pay it off. And I do that with credit cards too. That way I'm not rolling over a balance and then accruing interest. But you wouldn't accrue interest with a doctor's... Um, bill unless you don't pay it so on thursday i went to belts and this is when i took mama cat shopping now for the clothes she bought she bought three pairs of shirt not pairs of shirts goodness gracious i was i was trying to say three pairs of pants but really it was two pairs of pants and one pair of shorts and she bought three shirts so for all six items she spent 156.61 and as a reminder, guys, if you're shopping, make sure you shop clearance first because that's where she found the majority of her shirts. Dollar Trick, I spent $33.78. Funny story on that. Um, because I was with Mama Cat that day, um, I tried to do all my shopping within a day span um, of one week. That way I save on gas, I save on time, and then 
um, really I'm just getting everything done so I don't have to be exposed out there around other people. So that's what I try to do. Um, I normally normally fluctuates between a Tuesday or a Wednesday, but you know, lately it's just been whenever because we've had to get things done. So um, I spent I did not mean to spend thirty three seventy eight Dollar Tree. The reason why I did was I was going in there for a couple of things, and um, we were at the checkout. Um, Mama Cat picked up some things, and she was ahead of me, so she was bagging the stuff up. And then it got to the end, and the cashier was looking at me for the money. Well, I didn't know that I was supposed to be paying, so Mama Cat stepped me with the bill. She was over there shuffling with the bags, and I didn't know that that was her intent. So she got me on that one, guys. She got me. So good to her. She got me on that. So I ended up paying that bill. Um, we ate out, and... Um, I normally go to the same places, so as you can see, if you've been following me, I've been spending the same amount, ten fifty eight. We get the same things off the menu, and at Walmart we spent thirty four ninety. Now Friday I bought something off of Etsy from Life of Cherry, and I spent eleven seventy nine. And Saturday I bought something again for twenty nine sixty six off of Amazon. So I'm having to watch really my Amazon purchases because I am spending more lately at Amazon. So I spent three times so far um, right here, here, and here off of Amazon within this month. Okay, down here now this current week, I went to Walmart, spent $31.69. So if you notice between this Walmart um, shopping spree and then the one up here for groceries, I almost cut that in half. The reason why is down here I only went in with a list and what I actually needed there was maybe the exception I bought a candy bar and then I bought um, two boxes of popsicles so as you can see it's a dramatic difference so what I'm going to do from now on guys is I went online and you can just google search just type in like grocery list or I mean if you want to be that fancy you can just make out your own but I just got these sheets for free I just printed them off at work so it cost me absolutely nothing they're just not in color um, but I'm going to start writing out my list I print out this version and then I went and printed off and they have different versions guys or you can make your own template if you want to or this one, which I think I'm going to start with this one first. Because on here, this person has listed like all this stuff under the columns that you possibly could want to get a store. And then it has a little box where you can check off the items. So I'm going to start um, writing out my grocery list. And that way, I can keep track of what I'm spending. And I'm not going in blindly and then picking up stuff I don't need. I'm going to absolutely stick to a list. Sometimes you forget those simple tips about um, shopping on clearance, you know, right now a list. All those things that we were taught um, as we grown up from our parents and grandparents that saves money. We tend to forget that we go in and I get paid so I could just get whatever I want. But I don't want to be in that mindset anymore because I want to be able to save for the things that I want in life in my future and pay off debt. So... I need to be more mindful about what I'm actually picking up. So from now on, you will see a list. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. You will see me write out a list. And um, I'm going to only allow a certain amount of processed foods or junk foods to buy. Because I'm just eating way too much. And it's really affecting my budget. Okay, so Tuesday, I went to Belts again. Um... We spent forty three eighty three, and that's Mama Cat's chip again. So I think out of everything that she bought, I only got that one sweater that I told you guys about. And we also went to CVS. Now here I used one of my Fetch Rewards, and um, we got two big bags of chips and spent sixty nine. Um, I almost said sixty nine dollars. That was so wrong. We spent sixty nine cents on two bags of chips. And we're talking about like the big, large family size bags. And then I bought one of the largest of Listerine bottles of mouthwash. And I only spent $2.11 because of rewards. Uh, Wednesday, um, let's see, we went to Target. And I bought some medicine over the counter for $13.25. And then Friday ending off, which was yesterday, 
uh, we went to Shane's and spent $10.58. Now, I'm going to flip back in time because if you are on my channel and you are a subby, then we are tra we're time travelers. So, we know we can go back in time. Maybe everybody can't do that. But if you're part of my budget family, then you are able to be a time traveler. And we're going to go back to August the 20th. So, um, here, guys, I went and got my second shot of the Moderna vaccine. And they did also give us a $5 um, Target reward. So I got $5 and Mama Cat got one too. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is I notated up here. And if you keep track of your binders or of your budget, even on a sheet of paper, or if you have like a little, you can even get these at the Dollar General, even the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, the little layout calendars like this, the planners. So what I do is I notated, I had enough points off of Fetch. And so I cashed in $10 worth of Fetch points. CVS with my shot and her shot, they are five a piece, which makes 10 for both. So we had the CVS shot, $10 bucks. Then CVS, when we went there, uh, the month of August, they were giving cash back. Um, I think it was like a summer bonus. So if you spent so much, you get money back for every purchase you made. So um, I believe Mama Cat had $6 in CVS bucks and then I had $2. And then I had another Target bucks. Um, we do get our medicine from the CVS in Target. You get some many prescription filled. Then you get money back in a Target bucks or Target rewards. I'm not sure what they call it. But we get $5 back for that. So all of these added together for any kind of fetch rewards or um, CVS or Target bucks, then we got money back for, and the total of all those was $33. So I'm going to go back to September, and that way we don't have to revisit August again. But guys, first of all, I want to thank every single one of you guys that have used my, um, my fetch or my receipt hog affiliate code i always link those down it below in the description every single video that i do no matter what video it is so if you ever check out my description if i can save you money i will do so in every single video so guys um if you don't use fetch or receipt hog please do so this is free money and um for all you guys out there, if you're saying that you have no money to be able to budget with, you have nothing extra left for yourself, one, I always tell you guys to budget for yourself first, pay yourself first. And you might be saying, I have a big family, I just don't have money. When you use these reward back, um, you know, affiliate links or um, apps or anything like that, this is the extra money that you can pull out for yourself. What I, what I do is I act like I'm paying the full bill. And then whatever buck I have, if you have um, a fetch rewards or a receipt hog or a CVS or Target, any of those extra savings I get back, I act like I'm paying the full bill. And then I take out what I saved and I take that money out physically and I apply it or roll it over to another envelope. So that's how you get ahead, guys. If you are on a shoestring budget you have nothing to work with that is how you make that extra money happen so guys because i had all those rewards i have an extra 33 dollars that i would not have had now currently i use fetch and i use receipt hog as i've told you guys before if you use my affiliate code link down below then you get starter points up towards your own gift cards like i said before thank you guys for everyone that has used all my affiliate um, links i greatly appreciate guys because i get points and you get points that is absolutely free money literally all you guys do is just scan the receipt that you get from that store even food places i scan my shane's receipts all the time and i get points off of those so and then you can do e-points too i haven't done that one but i just use the physical receipts and i scan that into the app it takes seconds and I literally do that in between commercials that it's just mindless savings and you get up to so many points per receipt and then it accumulates towards gift cards so guys do not miss out on those free gift cards that free money um please go ahead if you guys want to 
go through my affiliate links listed down below click on those and sign up so you can get those points guys so that being said that was a long spiel um it really is those two are some of the easiest ones if you have any um any other receipt um kind of like apps that you guys use please leave a comment down below that way it will help me and help others that watch the video so we all can save together because that's what we are we are a budget community that looks out for one another so i have my envelope save the difference and this is where i have my 33 dollars at and on my side here where i have notated um i have to break down of where i want this 33 dollars to go so i'm going to fold this over and then i have my envelopes here and i will show you guys where this is going so we have 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 30 1 2 and 33 so this is 33 dollars that i would not have had and i'm so grateful for every dollar i get so First of all, I am going to grab my Sam's envelope. Now, you guys know that I only really stuffed this one because this is for my Sam Clothes membership. And I need to get this at 45. So let's count what we have in here right now. So we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I'm going to add 10 to that. And this will fully fund this one. And this is for my membership. And I fully funded this almost solely by just fetch rewards and receipt hog um, rewards um, cbs target whatever extra money i have saved has funded this envelope so we have 10 20 25 30 35 40 and 45 so now my membership is fully paid and I, um i'll have to pay it i think in may but right now i don't have to look at this envelope again because that is fully funded so we are done with that and I will put that back in my party bag later. Um, because I'm um yeah, I have I don't know where the bag is, but I'll have to look for it. So next I have Mama Cat, which I'm giving her five dollars. I'm giving her five because she blows my budget every single time. Like I was telling you guys at the Dollar Tree, she slid at the end of the counter and was bagging up. Like I wasn't gonna notice that she was doing that. Mind you, the, the cashiers look at me like, okay, who's going to pay? So she was real slick. So she, um, I grabbed mine and not hers. I'm going to grab hers. So she blows my budget almost every time that she's with me and we're out shopping. So I am going to save some money back for her so I can be prepared. Because cat kibble is not free and it's just not unlimited cat kibble out there guys i have to budget for everything i don't have unlimited funds so um i have to just make sure i have enough money for everything and i'm going to count out five ones because um this is another way too that i make it seem like i have so much money uh, sometimes i would pay myself in one dollars that way one, it looks like a lot of money. And two, when I go to purchase something, I'm more mindful that I have to pay in ones. So if I see a bunch of bills going out of my wallet, no matter if they're ones or not, I'm seeing that my wallet is becoming empty because the money is going out. So I ration this out a little bit more carefully if I have dollars in my wallet. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And this is going to be her special money. I used to call it meow money. <laughs> Guys, I'm real crazy. You're going to learn if you've been here on my channel. But um, I swear the more videos I do, the more crazy I'm getting. Because I'm being more comfortable on, the, on my channel with you guys. So you'll see and hear me say a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Just go with it, guys. So this is her mama cat meow money. And so that's her treat money. Or if she wants something and... Um, it's unexpected I have the money. So that's going to go in my actual wallet. And yet again, that is nowhere near me. So I will do that off camera. But I'll stick that in my wallet for her. Okay, next down here is medical. Medical is getting five. And you know what? I'm going to have to grab my wallet. Because the medical is wallet. All right. My medical is in my little bear wallet. So I had to re back, reach back and get that. So... Let me just pull out my dividers real quick. I thought it was like 
not as close to me, but it was pretty close to where I could reach back. So I'm going to take Mama Cat's money and I'm going to go under giving. And that's where I'll put her envelope at. So I'm just going to, let me see. Let me move this over here so I can get to it. And guys, I do have this 40 in here. This was from my birthday money. I stuck it in here. I've used some already. And I meant to tell you guys that before, but I have 40 left for my birthday money. So I don't need money for a while. So that's why that 40 is in there. Just to give you an update, guys. So let's see. We have fast food. Let me move that. That's the fast food. So under giving, I'm just going to stick her envelope right there behind giving. And then move that up. I'm not giving groceries anything so we're gonna go to medical now and like I said medical is going to get five dollars so let me move that up I still have let me see 20 40 1 2 3 44 and 45 in there so that's gonna get five as well so I'm going to just stick that back there so in medical we have 20 40 45 6 7 8 9 and 50 I think my copay is 50 but I always keep money in medical anyway because you never know. Now, I'm not giving anything to emergency, so next on my list is miscellaneous, and that's going to get three. Now, normally, guys, and this is my little miscellaneous right here. If you look at the bottom, that's what it says. So, um, normally, my miscellaneous is anything that I use for the household goods for my stockpile. So right now I have $2 in miscellaneous, so that's going to get three. So let me grab out three, because I have ones here left. So one, two, three. So in miscellaneous, I have one, two, three, four, and five. So that is going to go in my wallet. Let me grab that back again. So I'm just going to stick that back in there, guys. And there we go. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I have, let me see, what am I going to do? I'm going to give five to Storm Pay. So let's see what we have in here right now. This is for any emergencies, we ain't kind of bad weather. So right now I have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 66. That's going to get 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now I'm going to move these ones over here. So let's see what we have in storm pay. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 71. So that's a good bit because I always used to forget about storm pay. And I'm telling you guys, if you save up for any kind of storms, you kind of forget this envelope until the storms start hitting. And then you're like, oh, I have no money in there. So that is some money in there. Now, let's see what we have left. It should be five. So, we have one, two, three, four, five. So, we have five here. And let's see. What do I want to do? Um, let me think. Let me think. Okay. First, I want to give Target some money. Um, let's see. We have... Oh, okay. We have more than one. So I have one, two in Target. So let's make this five. So I'm going to grab three of these ones. So that should be five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do five in Target. And let's see. I have two left. See, if this is not what you call stretching out money, I don't know what it is. That is literally the reason why i call my channel dollar bill life because of this reason right here because you can you can get your finances together like that off of a couple dollars um let's see i'm going to give these two no i don't want to give two okay let me see i have a cbs envelope here so 
I have one in there. So I'm going to give that one for a CVS. So let's do that. And this last dollar, let me see. Actually, since these are nice ones, I'm going to grab one of the ugly ones out of here. Um, there we go. This is a nicer one, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, it's a little bit nicer. I think this other dollar, I am going to go ahead and get that one back to Mama Cat. Because uh, with that envelope that I keep with hers, I'm going to keep that rolled over. But she tends to use a lot of money whenever I'm out with her. So... Giving her an extra dollar is not going to hurt at all. So I'm just going to put this in with her meow money. That's what we will call it. And she should have one, two, three, four, five, and six in there. So that is it today, guys. That gets me caught up so far. Um, I am so sorry that it took me a while to come back on here. But I'm just trying to get back on schedule with videos. So... Thank you guys for watching. I'm hoping that these videos is helping somebody with their budget. If you're struggling with a small income, please don't get discouraged. You can do it a dollar at a time, guys. And I love you guys, and I will see you guys later. Bye.